Hi, I'm Sam Sheehan at Stitch and Steel Homestead, and today we're talking about nest placement troubleshooting in our rabbit colony. Um, sometimes when our does are given unlimited choices, they don't always make the best choice. So sometimes the spot that they choose to deliver their babies is not inside of one of the nest boxes that we've provided. And there's a couple of things I look at when I decide if I want to leave those babies where they are or if I decide to move them. If a doe has chosen a place to deliver her babies that's dry, clean, uh, relatively low traffic area, and she seems to be able to defend it well, then I might just leave those babies alone right where she's put them. However, if I see a lot of the youngsters running through her nest because she's put it in a bad spot, or if it's somewhere that's, you know, maybe gets too damp, like I had one doe try to build a nest right underneath the water bowl, which wasn't a smart choice, um, or if it's just in, in too, too high of a traffic area, then I might just make the decision to either put a nest box around the litter right where she's delivered it, just to give them a bit of protection, or move that litter into a nest box. So I came in to find that Spice had tipped this litter box on its side and she's chosen to nest in behind it. Now that wouldn't necessarily be a terrible thing except that as soon as I walked in the stall I watched four of the older rabbits go hop right through the babies uh, and that can cause a lot of serious injury. So at this point I've chosen to move this nest. So all I've done is I've used clawed hands to reach around and scoop as much of the nest intact with the baby still in it as I can. And I've moved it to the side. And then I repositioned the nest box and got it sitting upright and it's got some nice dry hay in there. And I've kind of dug a little depression and now I'm just going to move this whole nest into the box. Alright, so as you can see everybody's all tucked in here spice has given us a big beautiful litter of eight babies and uh, counted them looked them all over tucked them all in nice and cozy and she should have no trouble finding them there because it's right near where she delivered them in the first place here she is hey mama i knew you'd find them a lot of people worry that does won't be able to find their babies when they move them uh, it's usually not a case of being unable to find them because they have incredibly strong sense of smell. What might happen is that the does just decide that a predator has messed with the nest and they want nothing to do with it. Um, because in the rabbit, in excuse me, because in the wild rabbits um, breed so prolifically, their primary survival strategy is to simply abandon any litters that become problematic for any reason and make another one. So they might choose to do that if they feel um, like I am too much of a threat messing with their babies or like the move has been too dramatic. They might just say, I wash my paws of you. I'll just have more babies next month. Um, but generally we find that with uh, especially colony does that have been doing this for a couple of generations and for does who have had a couple of deliveries here already, they take to it no problem. So I generally don't try to move the kits clear across the colony to a completely different place. What I try to do is just move them into an S box safely near where the doe herself has delivered them. I do try to set my does up to make good choices and that for me means that a couple days before a doe is due I will clean out any of the empty nest boxes of the the litter and the fur and whatever from the last the previous litter and line it with some fresh straw or hay or at least wood chips, depends on the season. Uh, and then she's more likely to build a good nest in the right spot. So when I am looking at a litter that she's delivered outside of a nest box, I always weigh the danger they're in where they currently are against the danger they're in if she chooses to abandon them after I move them. So again, generally, she doesn't have a problem with me moving her kits. Um, sometimes a particularly sensitive doe or a young doe will have a problem with it. Um, but usually those does get culled out of my breeding program anyways. Um, 
And like I said, where the kits are, whether they're being run through, being squashed by older siblings, you know, somewhere they're going to get too wet, too cold, etc. That makes a bigger impact on my decision of whether to move them or not. And so there's Mama sitting in front of her nest and Daddy too. She's already found her babies and she knows where they are, so I don't anticipate any problems with her taking care of them. Thanks for watching my video today. I hope that helps you make up your mind about whether to leave your litters where they are or move them into a nest box. Take care and have a great day.